What's up, guys? It's your boy Dom, and welcome back to Dom Up, cuz man. Hey, it's been a long time. It's been a long time, but I'm back. And yes, I know I've been missing a lot of things happening in the NBA. But hey, school's over technically, and I'm ready to do daily. Oh, not daily uploads, but consistent uploading once again. So before we get into the video, man, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dime. And now let's get into the video. So I know I miss a lot of things, mainly with the NBA, the play-in, the playoffs. So I decided, hey, I'm going to cover most of that in one video while also discussing the main topic of the video. First, I want to talk about uh, the first few games of the playoffs. These were very good games. Some of them were blowouts. One game I want to mention are the Nets, you know, as a Nets fan for a very long time, I'm glad to see we're back on top of the world of basketball, especially us dominating the Celtics in game two, you know, um, the Lakers, you know, the Lakers, you know, they always lose the first game. LeBron is very conservative in the first game, but the second game, they were able to turn it on. Anthony Davis was able to put on a show because I was worried for that Lakers team that first game because Anthony Davis out there. He looked like he was just floating out there. He looked very lazy on the court. You know, LeBron, he seemed way too conservative. But then again, that game was close, and I think they have the game on now. I'm looking at my other um, computer um, besides this one. But um, I think they have a game going on right now against the uh, Suns. So um, I feel like whoever wins this game, did win, uh, whoever wins this game is who decides the rest of the series. Um... Other teams, such as the Knicks, the Hawks, um, all of them, they're doing great too. Um, the Knicks, even though they aren't winning games, I feel like they're playing very well. Especially um, with Julius Randle, I haven't seen him play yet, but he hasn't really been playing good. You know, he hasn't been playing to the um, productivity as he has been playing for this for the entire season and other things like that. And to think about it, right? The Hawks right now, even though nobody's really talked about them, they're they're in the playoffs. The Hawk, the Atlanta Hawks are in the playoffs, and they're playing very well, especially Trey Young, especially when he hit that ice cold dagger floater at the end to win the game. So um, teams like that are good, but the main team I really want to talk on is the Los Angeles Clippers and the Dallas Mavericks. You know, as we've seen the. Los Angeles Clippers have just really fell short many, many times. Even back in the Lob City days, even up to now, you know, they've fell short so many times. With even just last season, the Clippers messing, uh, blowing that 3 1 lead, blowing that. And just them, and now today, or not today, but these past few days, them going down 2 0 against the Dallas Mavericks, you know. You're thinking, what's going on with the Clippers? What's going on with the players' mindsets? What's going on with, with the team as as a whole, you know? And and a lot of questions are being uh, have arise. Like, what's going to happen to this Clippers team if they lose in the first round, right? What's going to happen to to Tyron Lue? What's going to happen to Kawhi? What's going to happen to Paul George? What's going to happen to all these pieces they, they've accumulated and things like that? And what are the consequences of them moving those pieces those very important pieces away to another team, such as Shea Gilgis Alexander, and those a lot of those picks, and Danilo Gallinari, you know, because that Shea Gilgis Alexander, Danilo Gallinari, Lou Williams, um, Patrick Beverly's still on the team, but he was a very important piece of that that 2018 Lakers, uh, not Lakers squad, Clippers squad, and they were the like the, the only team to come back. From that many points, I forgot how many points it was, and they won that game. Even though they did lose that series, they still were able to pull out and get that win, that very historic win. And so, and them just giving away all those picks and just saying, hey, you know, we want Paul George. You know, we want a win now team. And right now, they are in a win now situation. They have no future. They don't have the picks they don't have say they don't have any young good young prospects that they can rely on in the future whenever Kawhi and Paul George get old and they can't produce or either they get traded or signed somewhere else they don't have that anymore and feel like and I feel like that's gonna happen this season 
if the Clippers do not make it out the first round, and I say and do not make out the first round or even get to the championship itself, I feel like that this Clippers squad, as we know it right now, is going to be gone. Bye bye. So now let me get into the games. So I'm not going to cover much about the first game. We already know what happened in the first game. You know, they got smacked up and things like that. But the second game, Kawhi had 40, about 40 points. I forgot how many points it was. But he had about 40 points, which is very stellar for him. But they still lost. Now, think about it. Kawhi isn't a big minutes guy anymore. He's not going to give you big boy minutes anymore. He's not going to give you 40 minutes anymore because of that quad injury that he's been dealing with for almost three to four years now. And him putting up 40, playing 40 minutes, and trying to guard Luka is not going to win you games because this team has a lot of defensive pieces, a lot of defensive pieces to able to be able to contain Luka because you can't really contain Luka you can only just try you you can't really stop him you can only contain him that's what the announcer says i forgot his name my bad don't come at me you know and and this isn't really going to help because they have so many good defensive pieces but those defensive pieces are not putting in the work they're not stepping up in guarding luka they're not doing that now another play i want to talk about on the clippers is the um is not the paul is paul george Paul George in these last, in these first two games of the playoffs, he's at put up 23 and 28. Very solid numbers. But he's been pretty subpar on the efficiency, especially in the three-point range. He's only shot three for 15 of all the shots he's put up in these playoffs. And from three. And that could be one thing that's shooting them in the foot. Their inefficiency, a player's inefficiency in the three-point line. And also... One other thing is, why do you have a player you're paying $18 million, Luke Kennard, on a DNP? Why do you have him on a DNP? Why are you not putting in Serge Ibaka when he's needed to be put in? There's a lot of things, especially in the, uh, the coaching aspect, that isn't necessarily helping that team, you know? And right now, it doesn't look like they're doing is they're doing that great now let me talk about the mavericks the mavericks the mavericks are playing very good basketball you know luca just doing luca things luca is being luca you can't stop him you can only try to contain him and another player that everybody knows he could hoop tim hardaway jr everybody knows tim hardaway jr can hoop everybody knows he can do that and you know, sometimes he can be a streaky player, you know, he's going to be able to, he's not going to always give you 25 a night, you know, one day he might have 25, in, one, uh, in like three weeks he might have be averaging 25, but then the next two weeks he might be averaging 12 on pretty inefficient shooting. So, but they, they've been playing very good basketball and I'm excited to see how far this team can go in the playoffs and even if they can go in the playoffs, I mean, not the, not go, but even get even farther in the playoffs. You know, so and also this is a win now situation for the Clippers. I don't know if I've said this. I've said this plenty of times before. This is a win now situation. I've always said off camera that I've had hope for this team for many years. Hope, just hope that they can at least get to the Western Conference Finals and maybe possibly to the finals. And this year looked like it was the year. But right now, as they are sitting 0-2 in this playoff series in the first round, it doesn't seem like that's happening. And, and I don't, and to be honest with you, I might lose all hope with this team. Even though I'm not a fan, I might lose all hope. Everybody might lose hope for this franchise. They might need to move out of LA. Shoot. But, hey, if you enjoyed the video, and if you want to leave your thoughts about this video in the comments below, make sure to comment down in the comment section. And daily, I mean, not daily. Consistent uploads are going to be put up every, uh, every, almost every week now. So um, if you haven't already, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dime. And uh, yeah, man, God bless. Peace out. 100. Bow.